All right, day six. We're in the process of, well, Catherine is making breakfast. What's for breakfast, Catherine? Bread. We don't have bagels anymore? Nope. Okay. <clears throat> we already showered. The um, cam shower works great and it really makes a difference making this long journey tolerable. Really uh, would recommend to anyone. Mitch, you gotta put that towel to dry. Uh, mosquitoes are in force, so we're kind of trying to rush the breakfast part through and pack up really fast and get out of here because it's not something that we, I guess, used to too much and makes makes us not enjoying it as much as we could enjoy it. Otherwise, the surroundings are just beautiful. Except there is a, we kind of, we were running out of time. We wanted to break the camp last night, but across the river there is some kind of plant here that's been making noises all this time it's all in that direction across the river and that's how the day six begins okay so i'm attempting to fix the zipper and it leaves this it doesn't close us consistently the bottom one and my theory is the bottom one hasn't been used as much and it closes never leaves the gap so my theory is maybe this cap a gap here that brings the zipper together got a little bit opened up so what I'm trying to do what I'm gonna try to attempt to do is to bring the bring it together see if it If it'll... Oh, just a little tip. It, well, I don't know if it works in every single situation, but it seems to be that help, helped in our situation. Because, I mean, almost every single time it would leave and open it um, but by squeezing it together it seems like this repair works I think I'm gonna give it a, a little bit more that breaking it and that should do it all right on. we had to drive off from our camping site because mosquitoes were just unbearable and we're siphoning our gas <coughs> so we can um, so the journey can continue That's where we're heading. We gotta cross this valley. Show me what's the name of the river down below. Mm. Is that a sweet water? Mm. No, sweet water was back there. That's some kind of other different river. Green River? Huh. What did I say before? Sweet River? Sweet River is not even close here. Green River. Oh, that's right. We crossed it. So we're on this side of Green River. 
we'll have to cross it again in order to get the valve. Snow in July. Yeah, you're just sliding. I don't like it.
That's one way to do it. for day six we are up in a well what started as a hot back mountains and this is Bridger National Park here Mitch is getting water in the creek beautiful setting for this for the campsite. Some mosquitoes, but a little breeze keeps them reasonable. Well, we kind of settled, got a little rest, and now we're going to go and hike. It's been a long two months since the last snow, so we're gonna go and visit some snow there. Sunburn got worse. Have to cool it off. It's because I was driving with my hand out of the window and the sleep. Sherby, you don't need the, fl the flowers. You don't need the flowers. You are as beautiful as a flower yourself. <laughs> she said whatever. All right, day six is winding down, nice and cozy by the fire. Uh, today was an interesting day. We uh, crossed the Green, green uh, River Basin. It was mostly high desert, sagebrush. Um, then we got into the Hogback Mountains, and now we are in uh, Bridger National Forest. 
camping out here. Seen a bunch of wildlife today, mostly um, pronghorn and antelope. Got on the road where there was still snow, tried to cross it, and on the camera it's not going to look as uh, precarious as it was. Camera doesn't really show the angles very good. It was pretty steep, so first I got, I tried to go forward, and was kept kept sl uh, slipping to the point where it got pretty tippy. Tried to back up and slid even more. So I end up, uh, luckily, I was able to drive down the hill. Uh, it was steep enough, but it wasn't uh, anything crazy. But <laughs> I guess that's the highlight of the day. Um, other than that, it's been... The trip is winding down. We're probably... Uh, well, once we cross over the mountains, we'll get to um, town of Afton. And we'll finish our trip in a town called Freedom, Wyoming. Well... Half of it is in Wyoming, half of it is in Idaho.